ten times Naruto could have died. Naruto Uzumaki nearly lost his life many times, and not just in combat. When did he have a close encounter with the Grim Reaper? The star of Naruto is indeed Naruto Uzumaki himself. But being the hero doesn't shield him from danger. Naruto is a ninja, and he has had countless brushes with death during his quest to become the next Hokage and prove himself a great ninja. There were times when he could have lost his life in the line of duty. Fortunately, Naruto's inner-tailed beast, Kurama, can lend him its powerful chakra to help him escape mortal peril. Still, even then, some situations could have proven utterly fatal if Naruto didn't happen to have a way out. When were ten times where, if things were a little different, Naruto could have ended up Kia? 10. When Naruto was born Abito held him hostage. Naruto could have lost his life the moment it started. He was born to Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki. Abito Achiha, ever the schemer, stepped in and took the newborn Naruto as a pint-sized hostage against the fourth Hokage. It's fortunate for Naruto that his father was such a quick ninja, rescuing his newborn son and taking the fight to Abito elsewhere. Otherwise, Abito might have ended Naruto right there if Minato didn't follow his demands. 9. When Zabuza ambushed Squad 7 in Mist. Team 7 got its first ever C ranked mission, being tasked with escorting Tazuna, the bridge builder, to the Land of Waves. Along the way, the team ran into Zabuza Momochi, a deadly rogue mist ninja who took the initiative against Naruto's team. Zabuza used his hidden mist jutsu to blanket the area in thick fog, then teleport himself right into the middle of Team 7's formation. With one quick swing of his sword, Zabuza could have taken Naruto's head off and taken his life right then and there. 8. When Naruto tried to fight Haku inside the ice crystal mirrors. Naruto survived his first encounter with Zabuza, but the rematch came sooner than later on the nearly complete bridge. The ninja known as Haku used his Kekiai Genkai to trap Sasuke Uchiha and Naruto within an array of ice crystal mirrors, putting them at a disadvantage. Sasuke nearly gave his life to protect Naruto from a needle barrage. Buying Naruto time to awaken Kurama's power. But if Naruto did take that volley, he could have died before Kurama could have done much to help. Haku's aim is deadly. 7. When Orochimaru's snake swallowed Naruto alive during the Chunin exams. During the brutal Chunin exams, Naruto and his teammates made their way through the forest of death and soon learned how that forest got its name. In fact, one of Orochimaru's snakes swallowed Naruto whole, and it wasn't in the mood to just let him go. Naruto was forced deeper and deeper into the snake's gut, and he would have been digested into paste if he didn't know he to use the shadow clone jutsu to burst free. Otherwise, he would have been a helpless lunch for the snake. 6. When Naruto was forced to summon Gamabunta, or die. During his training with the Toad Sage Jiraiya, Naruto had his seal on the fox's chakra undone, and then Jiraiya put Naruto into a do-or-die situation. Jiraiya wanted Naruto to summon toads, and the threat of death would surely draw out Naruto's potential. Jiraiya shoved Naruto into a deep ravine, and Naruto had only seconds to perform a summoning jutsu or get squashed at the ravine's bottom. Just in time, Naruto borrowed Kurama's chakra to summon the massive Gamabunta and spare himself an unglamorous death. 5. When Itachi Kisame almost captured Naruto. Itachi Uchiha and his partner Kisame Hashigake managed to separate Naruto from Jiraiya at some point. The two of them prepared to capture Naruto and drag him back to the Akatsuki organization's headquarters to extract his tailed beast. Itachi and Kisame couldn't afford to kill Naruto when they met him, and Sasuke and Jiraiya helped rescue Naruto from this predicament. Otherwise, Naruto would have died as the tailed beast was removed from him at Akatsuki HQ. 
A Jinchuriki's capture means death. 4. When Naruto lost to Sasuke at the valley's end. Sasuke decided to flee the hidden leaf village and consort with dark powers to gain the strength necessary to defeat Itachi. Naruto's team, led by Shikamaru Nara, chased him all over the place. Naruto ended up dueling his friend right there at the valley waterfall. Both ninjas used every weapon and power at their disposal. Such as the Raisingan technique and the Chidori. Sasuke narrowly won the battle, and he could have offed Naruto when he stood back up. But he didn't, and he went on his way. 3. When Naruto first saw Sasuke in Shippuden. In Naruto Shippuden, Naruto got his wish, he came face to face with Sasuke. However, Sasuke was in no mood to hear a heartfelt speech talk jutsu and return home with Naruto. Instead, Sasuke demonstrated his new skills, and Naruto was caught totally off guard. Naruto was stronger now too, but he couldn't even flinch when Sasuke appeared right before him. Drawing his deadly electric sword. If Sasuke wanted to, he could have decapitated his friend, right in front of Sakura Haru. 2. When Naruto trained to use nature energy at Empty Mayaboku. Using sage mode means accessing natural energy, and training to do this is rather tricky. The student must sit perfectly still and become attuned to the natural energy around them. But doing this wrong will turn the user into a toad or even petrify them. It can be fatal. Naruto wasn't doing this alone, he had Fukasaku, a toad sage, to help guide him and avoid this horrible potential outcome. If Fukasaku slipped up, or if Naruto was doing this training alone, he could have paid the ultimate price for it. 1. When Naruto faced Sasuke for the final time. The fateful rematch arrived at long last after the dust barely settled on the final battle against the great princess Kagaya herself. Naruto and Sasuke had a grudge to settle, and once again, they used every power and tool at their disposal to win. By now, Naruto was a vastly powerful ninja, but so was Sasuke. And Sasuke had killer instincts that Naruto can't match. Naruto seeks peace, while Sasuke seeks power and results. It's not unthinkable that Sasuke could have finished off the exhausted Naruto in that final duel if he could land a finishing blow just right. 